All right, guys, now we're going to have a special guest come in, guys, because you know what time of the year it is. Um, check this out. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a giveaway. This is going to be a giveaway um, for the YouTube viewers. Subscribe and like the channel. Definitely will enter your into your uh, into you in for a giveaway. I guess it's time to give back to the community. Top drive got you guys because I got a special guest coming in. Check this guy out. Ho 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 ho! Good old Blanta Claus coming in here for you boys and girls, you anglers and anglets out there who's been naughty or nice. I'll put some coal in your boat, or I might give you a good gift, guys. What we're gonna do here is you like, subscribe. To the YouTube channel. And guess what? You're gonna enter to win one of Santa's sacks. And you want a top drop snack packs. So you can get on the water from one of you beginner anglers, swim bait anglers, um, you expert swim bait anglers. You might like this stuff that I got in this pack sack too, guys. Make sure you comment below. I need you to comment and tell me your name so I know who's who because I'm gonna put your name in a hat and I'm gonna draw it and I'm just gonna say, hey, this guy won. So check this snack pack. That is some uh, Mega Bass Mag Drafts along with an S waiver. Good beginning snack pack up in there, guys. But check that out. That's some goodies up in there. Really good snack pack. Guys, that is also Mega Bass Mag Draft. Santa Claus then went hardcore on y'all for this year. Mega Bass Freestyle, these all freestyle mag drafts. And then look at that depths up in there. I got a depths crep up in there for you beginners. And that is it. Help you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, I'll see y'all in the new year and we're going to do some more uh, big things. We'll be doing tournaments and play with some big swim bakes. That's a part of my arsenal this year. I promise. Next year. I promise. Let go. All right, guys. Your boy Top Drop. Top with a T, a.k.a. Mr. Slayton. Thanks, guys. I'm out here. It's 50 mile an hour Wednesday. Day. It's super cold. First thing off, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you guys. We appreciate the love and support on uh, all platforms. Just watching me on video. I love it. Um, I appreciate it. Come on, guys. This all happened back, eh, I say September when I went full fledged tackle crackhead. So, guys, I'm telling y'all one thing. I understand why this stuff's addicting. It is addicting. And guess what? It's a new way of fishing. To me, it's a whole new style of fishing. They got me top drop scratching like Tyrone and fainting for new rods and reels, new swim baits, the works. But, guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump into it on the things I've learned. From the six months of big swim bait work, but I see people still asking questions. You know, everybody's starting from somewhere. So you got some newbies out there that want to learn and trying to get into what they see a lot of these uh, these expert anglers doing. So this is a, a good starter gear. This is your this is your uh, your pop and cherry moment for swim bait fishing right here. It's for you version of swim bait fishing. Excuse my language, but hey, we'll say this is not a complete PG show. There's a PG-13 show. So, but guess what, guys? This is a good starter. Go out and used to. So, but anyway, a good setup for that, I would say to go out and get like a Diamond's Fury. That's a good entry level, really good big swim bait rod. You can use that the whole entire time. You don't gotta have to spend a ton of money, but the Diamond's Fury series or whatnot, that's a great, a Dawa 300, Dawa Tatula 300 is a good, you know, where you're not spending a ton, but you're still getting good quality real. You know, you, you're going to have to invest something, guys. You just can't go out there with some bum equipment and then just get toe up out the frame with your pants down when you catch a big one. Of any reels that you might want to add that's under $200 that's good for big swim bait fishing, definitely put it in the comments below. That. As far as like staying above surface, you want something that good swim profile up top, it's hard to beat this. It's either golden bait belts or golden baits. Correct me, put it in the comments below, because like I said, I'm not good with some of these names and some of these lures. This one I just got recently. Uh, this is a Phony Frog USA, uh, main man Jason St. Mary's, and my bigger style glides. So this is a, a, a Phony Gizzard Shad also. So that's a Phony Gizzard. Love this one. Lures. This is the things I'm learning on the fly, guys, by the way. So KGB, excellent. You can't, it's a crappy. It looks just like a crappy. Profile is amazing. Uh, love this lower course when they key in on that crappy bluegill, bluegill style base. Check this out. You'll notice one thing. The things that I noticed with big swim bait fishing, you kind of got to, you guys are right. I hate to say it. No, damn right. You know what? I am going to say it. You guys are right. When I seen y'all talk to people when they post up, hey, I'm just starting swim bait fishing. You know, what do I need to learn? 
One, you get a bait and you learn that bait. That is one of the most important things. Um, it's one of the things I see a lot of mistakes guys make. They go out, spend all this money on a bait, and then don't get a chance to learn that bait. They move on to the next bait, the next bait, the next bait, because they're already addicted. They're just throwing and they're winding or whatnot. You have to really learn your bait on what works with what pairing and what line, quarter reel turns, and cover. You got cover glides, you got open water glides. Um, it just goes on and on, guys. But I weigh down my hooks. Um, I actually use golf tape, which is the lead tape. Wrap, so wrap it around the shank of my hook, and then I use shrink wrap. I know you guys see this on a lot of my hooks. I use shrink wrap and shrink wrap the hooks, the shank of the hook. Works excellent, but you have to test it in the water. That suspend right there in that water column is key. If you keep that above that bass head and it's suspended, it's just gonna, it's gonna piss them off. They're gonna wanna eat it, and it has to be. You keep that bad boy right in the strike zone above their head so they can get that good line of sight right there. So does it work in the winter? I've seen fish key in on it, come up to it. I had a pickerel eat this, but a pickerel will eat anything moving kind of fast. This lure is amazing. I'm not knocking these lures at all. I'm just looking at the seasons on when I like to use it. Um, spring, summer, fall, all day long. Winter time, I don't know. I haven't been tossing it often at all in the winter. I focus more on the glide styles. Your lure suspends like a freaking Mega Bass Vision 110. So I was tossing it in the winter just to toss it around. This is a little tum tum. That's so doofy. Guess what? I was doofy because I was missing another window. Soon as I changed these handles out, everything became so easy. I had less slipping off the reel because of these knobs, these grippy knobs here. I think these are Gomex, Gomexes make, uh, does these. Excellent, man, for the buck. So guys, you'll always catch me on 20 pound Seaguar and Vizx. That's my line of choice. I was using like a cold poly, but I like my lure to get down. I want fluoro because I want it to get down and almost suspend. Invisibility is key where I'm fishing because of the fact that I fish clear water and then not having as much stretch. So when I do a quarter reel turn, that lure is doing its thing as I do a quarter reel turn. It's not, I'm new to this too. Since September means I'm new to this, damn it. So that's one of the things that I noticed on there too. Um, two, drag, I like to have my, 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 my drag locked down pretty decent to where I can barely hand pull it off. So I'm like, the, I gotta, you gotta bulldog these bad boys in. I'm not trying to give a big fish a chance to jump up and shake a big, heavy two, three, four ounce lure and go ahead and sling it and then my heart drop and I fall out on the boat crying. Not trying to have that guy, so that is a must. Kind of going through my rods still, guys. This is one of the other ones I, I love. It's a seven nine Team Six Extra Heavy, rated for one to four ounces. I like my smaller Chad Chads on this, guys. I think these Chad Chads are in that two and a half, three ounce weight, so it works well. Of course, twenty pound Seaguar and Vizx. This that Dow it's a Tula three hundred series reel that I was talking about. Excellent. Um, these already come with some decent handles on there. They're grippy and they're pretty big. That's why I like it. I didn't change that out at all. Another setup, guys. This is a, uh, you know, I gotta have Mega Bass up in there, guys. Top Drop's a Mega Bass guy. My Mega Bass Levante is one of my favorites. This is my Leviathan uh, Levante 711, two to eight ounce rated. And this line here, of course, 20 pound Seaguar and Viz X. That's one of Phony's finest, the Shiner on lock. And then, of course, real wise, to touch base on that, another thing, to take the load off your wrist, please look at the real weight size. Some people go out and get things because they see other people have things or they say, oh, that looks good because it's expensive. Not everything expensive is great. I done spent $500 on a reel and hated it and shipped it right on back and then got me like a $250 reel. This is a Kuma Komodo. Guys, I love this reel because of the weight. Most of my weights on my reels, I didn't touch base on that on my A3. I think that's the lightest out of my bunch coming in at probably like I think it's like that 10 ounces or whatnot, that 10 ounce range. And then of course, this Komodo is right behind it. I wanna say that's maybe like 11 ounces, but these are all good big swim bait reels that I love. Excellent, this is a good bang for the buck one. It's, you can get it on Amazon, you know, Tag Warehouse, wherever. But that's probably gonna run you like 200 bucks. So invest in something like that if you're not trying to spend a ton of money. Like some of this stuff, I look at, I like that not everything is good, not everything expensive is good. 
So I like to try different brands and branch out to see what I might like. Lo and behold, it's one of the ones that I love. So, but check that out guys, definitely a must. Hey guys, this is another one of my rods. This is my second favorite rod. This is the F5 series. That's that Swimbait Universe collab right there. Um, that's on our Akuma, of course. Uh, actually, Sue, hold up. Take that back, guys. That is not on an Akuma. That's on a Abu Garcia Revo Beast right here, guys. This thing is money. I love this one. This is actually my lightest. I want to say this is the lightest of my setups on my reels. But um, everything I have, I try to keep it under that. And then 11 ounce or under, basically. Because it takes a load off your wrist. It takes a load to where you can chuck these bad boys around all day. 12 pound Seaguar and Viz X. Of course, this one is on my phony. I got my phony uh, foil. This has been my b best producer and biggest fish to date so far. From actually throwing these from cast to catch. You know, from cast to catch. Am I saying that right? <laughs> but this has been so far my best producer on getting fish to bite on. I'm a glide guy, man. I, I guess I love the glide. That's one of the things that I like so far. I'm more of a, I guess, finesse style swim bait fisherman. But then again, it's power fishing too sometimes because on the chat shed, I'll be doing my quarter reel turns a little faster. This one, on the other hand, I'll put this on my slower gear ratio. So I think if, if in my opinion, which I've seen in the water. You can have a tendency to blow this out on a faster, but I think Jason St. Mary said to throw his lures on more of a slower gear ratio. You have to, you know, I have them on a, I think a six, eight to one or something like that, or maybe even, I think it's a six, eight to one guys. It may not be no more than a seven, one to one, but I keep it nice and slow. I don't really chop this one a ton. I kind of like a slower, a slower real turn of a quarter real turn. So it kind of is my, my open, more open water glide bait. Cause I noticed this one actually goes a little wider than my Chad Shads, which is a little tighter, you know? So, but anyway, guys, so far my year in review, this has been my best producer so far, as far as biggest fish and consistent bites is this specific lure right here. And this is a foil. Not been getting produ producing a lot for me since I got it. That K9, dude. I see why you guys geek up about that one. That's a good one, but not far behind. Of course, the Chad Shad is also a great one. I didn't caught fish on it, but so far, the biggest fish have come on this and consistently came on this. I don't know if it's because of the size of the lure. I don't know if it's because of the foil. It's a gizzard shad. It's more of my, you know, what I have in my lake. I, I'm sure I have a ton of everything else in my in my league. That's just shad. I have shad. I have gizzard shad. I have bluegill. It works. But to be determined uh, 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 later on, you know, it could change up. I'm sure it will change up to something else. But not least, guys, best bang for the buck. Uh, best rod. I didn't even say bang for the buck. I mean, it's actually a bang. It is a bang for the buck. Because it's not stupid expensive. This to date is still my favorite out of all of them. It's a S, this is the F5. This is the Ghost Code series paired with Akuma. I love this combo. I use it for my Chan Chan. This is the 2 to 8 ounce version. Excellent, man. I think they're on sale now, $200. Check that out. Um, and then, of course, you pair this with a $200 Komodo. That's a $400 combo for a rod, reel, for a great combo. Gomex handles, tw uh, 20 pound Seaguar and Viz X. That's that smooth chat chat. Guys, I love it. But this is one of my favorite combo setups that I like for bang for buck. So if you're gonna go out there and say, hey, I wanna, I wanna drop the pockets a little bit, put the rabbit ears on them. Well, I got both of them out and I ain't got no more money, but I still got money in the bank, but I just spent this and dropped it on that F5. Do that on that F5 with that Komodo. That's money, that is money.